I'm Sanjeev Mbala, the Head of Data Planning Analytics at Channel 4. Channel 4 is a public service broadcaster that provides a free-to-air service to the UK. On any given month, we reach approximately 46 million UK adults and we have a registration base of about 9 million registered users. The more we understand about our viewers, their likes, their preferences, their tastes, the better we're able to then start to commission shows and equally market and target the way in which we might start to promote some of those shows. We realised very quickly that the sort of order of magnitude of volume of data we were going to be dealing with were going to be changing significantly. So the solution we finally decided upon was using Amazon's Elastic Map Reduce technology that's powered by Intel. We have gone from taking eight months to load something to two and a half days. What this therefore means is our analysts get access to data quicker, we're able to develop products faster, and we're able to then trade from an advertising perspective a lot sooner. One of the key benefits that we've realized from the Elastic Map Reduce solution set is um, a big data control panel. What this allows our analysts to do, it allows them to spin up clusters that are powered by Intel Xeon technology. Because we then had potentially infinite processing power without the, the subsequent upfront cost of infrastructure and tin can that's sort of a, a, an asset that then is written off of the books, that flexibility has allowed us to then deliver greater value into the business in a much shorter time frame. So historically, one of the challenges from an analytics perspective when you're dealing with huge volumes of data is the need for sampling. So invariably the analysis will take a 1% or a 5% sample of all viewing behaviour. The problem with sampling, you often miss the needle in the haystack in terms of the signs and the signals around what's happening in viewing behaviour. The key advantage that Elastic Map Reduce gave us was the ability for the first time for our analyst to look at the entire data set and be able to run analytical sort of queries and algorithms across the entire piece. Increasingly privacy laws are moving towards viewers and consumers having greater control and greater transparency. What's actually required is the ability and the capabilities to run what I call in-session analytics. So that is, for example, being able to understand a viewer interaction that's happening live on our platform, analysing it, passing it through to an ad server and being able to then provide a much more relevant targeted ad. So in 60 minutes, we're able to understand our viewers, all the interactions they're having on our website and our video on demand products, analyse, model and score, and then deliver a highly relevant and targeted ad before the end of the content.